I loose confusion against every satanic attack and demonic conspiracy against my life. Let the secret counsel of the wicked be turned into foolishness. Let those gathered against me be scattered. Send out your lightning, O Lord, and scatter the enemy. Destroy, O Lord, and divide their tongues. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. The gates and plans of hell shall not prevail against me. I overcome every strategy of hell against my life. Let every strategy of hell is exposed and brought into light. I receive the plans of God for my life, thoughts of peace and not evil to bring me to expected end. I am delivered from every satanic trap and plot against my life. I release the whirlwind to scatter those who will conspire against me. Let those who devise my hurt be turned back and brought to confusion. Let the nests, nets they have hid catch themselves and into that very destruction let them fall. I bind and rebuke every spirit of Sebala and Tobiah in the name of Jesus. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. I break and divide every demonic confederacy against my life in the name of Jesus. I loose confusion into every demonic confederacy directed against my life, family, and church in the name of Jesus. Divide and scatter them that are joined together against me. I bind and rebuke all demonic reinforcements sent by Satan to attack my life. Make the making make the ruling spirits of these confederacies be like Oreb, Zeb, Zeba, and Zamuna. O oh my God, make them like the wheel as the stubble before the wind. Persecute them with thy tempest and make them afraid with thy storm. Let them be confounded and troubled forever. Let them be put to shame and perish. Loose confusion and let them attack each other in the name of Jesus. Lord, you created the high places for your glory. Let not the enemy control the high places. I bind the prince of the powers of the air. I bind the powers of darkness that would control the airwaves and release filth, violence, and witchcraft through the media in the name of Jesus. I take authority over the prince of media in the name of Jesus. I bind spiritual wickedness in high places. Lord, destroy the idols in high places. I pluck down the high places of the enemy. I am a king and I break down the high places in the name of Jesus. I remove Nesh Neshutan, previous moves of God that have become idols from the high places. I remove the religious spirits from the high places. Let the high places of the Tophet be removed. Let your holy fire burn up the high places. Let the high places of witchcraft be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Destroy all false worship in high places. Let the high places be purged through your anointing. Remove every false ministry in high places. Remove all strange gods from the high places. Remove every satanic altar erected in the high places. Let all high places established by any ungodly ruler be removed in the name of Jesus. Let all the high places of Baal be broken down. I prophesy to the ancient high places and dispose, dispossess the enemy. Let righteous men with your wisdom sit in the high governmental places of my city and nation. I will walk upon the high places. Let every high place of wickedness that has not been removed be removed. Let me ride upon the high places of the earth and let me eat the increase of the fields and let me suck honey out of the rock and oil out of the flinty rock. Let all the high places built by my ancestors be removed. Let not the high places of our spiritual fathers destroyed be rebuilt. Let the high places be desolate. I tread upon the high places of the wicked. I break the power of any sacrifice done in the high places. I walk in the spirit of Josiah to deal with the high places. Lord, open rivers in high places. Through Jesus, let me possess the gate of the enemy. Establish the gates of praise in my life. I release battering rams against the gates of hell. The gates of hell cannot prevail against me. Let the gates of my life and city be open to the King of glory. Open to me the gates of righteousness that I may enter in. Strengthen the bars of my gates. Break the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. Open before me the gates that I may go in and receive the treasure of darkness and hidden riches of secret places. I rebuke every enemy in the gates. 
Let all the gates of my life and city be repaired through the Holy Spirit. Let the valley gate be repaired. Let the gate of the fountain, represents the flow of the Holy Spirit, be repaired. Let the sheep gate, representing the apostolic, be repaired. Let the fish gate, representing evangelism, be repaired. Let the old gate, represents the moves of the past, be repaired. Let the dung gate, representing deliverance, be repaired. Let the water gate, representing preaching and teaching, be repaired. Let the east gate, representing glory, be repaired. Let the waters flow through the utter gate to my life, past my ankles, past my loins, and past my neck. Make my gates of carbuncles. My gates will be open continually to receive blessings. I command the north gate, the south gate, and the east gate, and the west gate to open in my city to the king of glory. I rebuke all enemies that would stand at the gates and try to stop salvation from entering in. I pray for the apostolic gatekeepers of my city to arise and take their place. Let the gates of my life and city be shut to uncleanness, witchcraft, drugs, perversion, and wickedness in the name of Jesus. I pray for the gateway cities in my nation to become gateways of righteousness and not iniquity. Lord, raise, Lord, raise up Bethel churches that will be the gate of heaven. Lord, raise up apostolic gate churches that will usher presence and revelation into my region. Let any idol in my life or nation be destroyed and burned with your fire. Lord, cut down all the idols in the land. Let all the familiar spirits, wizards, and idols be taken out of the land. Let the idols be confounded with the images, and the images be broken in pieces. Let men throw away their idols and turn to you, O Lord. I renounce all idolatry in my bloodline and break all curses of idolatry in the name of Jesus. Lord, I put the names of the idols out of the land. I will keep myself from idols. Abolish the idols in America and in all the nations. Lord, expose all the idols as lying vanities. I renounce all covetedness. I will not serve the God of Mammon. Let Babylon, the mother of harlots, and abominations of the earth fall in the name of Jesus. Lord, cleanse the pollutions of idols from the land. Sprinkle clean water upon me and cleanse me from all filthiness and cleanse me from all idols. Let me not go astray after any idol. Let all false gods and idols, including humans, be removed from my life in the name of Jesus. I will put no other gods before you, Lord. I rebuke and cast out any spirit that would attempt to oppress me in the name of Jesus. Jesus, you went about doing good and healing all those oppressed of the devil. I strip all power from spirits that would oppress me. I rebuke and cast out all spirits of poverty that would oppress me. I rebuke all spirits of madness and confusion that would attempt to oppress my mind in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, undertake for me against all my oppressors. Lord, you are my refuge from the oppressor. Deliver me from the wicked that would oppress me from my deadly enemies that would surround me. Deliver me from oppressors that seek after my soul. Break in pieces the oppressor. I rebuke and cast out all spirits of affliction, sorrow, and anything attempting to bring me low in the name of Jesus. Lead me not to my oppressors. Let not the proud oppress me. Deliver me from the oppressions of men. I rule over my oppressors. Let the oppressors be consumed out of the land. I rebuke the voice of the oppressor in the name of Jesus. I am established in righteousness and I am far from oppression. Punish those who attempt to oppress me. The enemy will not take my inheritance through oppression. Execute judgment against my oppressors. I bind and rebuke every spirit that would attempt to distort, disturb, or disintegrate the development of my personality in the name of Jesus. I break all curses of schizophrenia and double-mindedness on my family in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke the spirit of double-mindedness in the name of Jesus. I bind and take authority over the strong men of rejection and rebellion and separate them in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out the spirits of rejection, fear, and rejection, and self-rejection in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out all spirits of lust, fantasy lust, harlotry, and perversiveness in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out all spirits of insecurity and inferiority in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out all spirits of self-accusation and compulsive confession in the name of Jesus. 
I bind and cast out all spirits of fear, judgment, self-pity, false compassion, and false responsibility in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out all spirits of depression, despondency, despair, discouragement, and hopelessness in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out all spirits of guilt, condemnation, unworthiness, and shame in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out all spirits of perfection, pride, vanity, ego, intolerance, frustration, and impatience in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out all spirits of unfairness, withdrawal, pouting, unreality, fantasy, daydreaming, and vivid imagination in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out all spirits of self-awareness, timidity, loneliness, and sensitivity in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out all spirits of talkativeness, nervousness, tension, and fear in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out all spirits of self-will, selfishness, and stubbornness in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out the spirit of accusation in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out all spirits of self-delusion, self-deception, and self-seduction in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out all spirits of judgment, pride, and unteachableness in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out all spirits of control and possessiveness in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out the root of bitterness in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out all spirits of hatred, resentment, violence, murder, unforgiveness, anger, and retaliation in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out spirits of paranoia, suspicion, distrust, persecution, confrontation, and fear in the name of Jesus. Let the Assyrians be broken in my land. Break in pieces the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron. I break every yoke from off my neck and I burst the bonds in the name of Jesus. Break them with the rod of iron and dash them into pieces like a potter's vessel. Break the armor of the wicked. Break their teeth, O God, in their mouths. Break their teeth of the young lions. Let the oppressor, oppressor be broken in pieces. Let the arms of the wicked be broken. Let the horns of the wicked be broken. Let the kingdoms of darkness be broken. Let the foundations of the wicked be broken. Let the kingdoms of Babylon be broken. Let all the bows of the wicked be broken. I break in pieces the horse and the rider. I break in pieces the chariot and the rider. I break in pieces the captains and the rulers. Let your word out of my mouth be like a hammer that breaks the rocks into pieces. Break down every wall erected by the enemy against my life. I break down every altar erected by the enemy against my life in the name of Jesus. Let the idols and images of the land be broken by your power, O God. I break into Samuel every demonic covenant made by my ancestors in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out the spirit of Apollyon in the name of Jesus. I am redeemed from destruction. I break all curses of destruction in my family and bloodline in the name of Jesus. I renounce all pride that would open the door for destruction. Rescue my soul from destruction. Send your word and deliver me from any destruction. The destroyer cannot come into my life or family in the name of Jesus. The destroyer cannot destroy my prosperity. I am delivered from destruction and waste at noonday. There is no wasting nor destruction within my borders. I will enter in at the straight gate and I will not walk in the path that leads to destruction. I bind the spirits of mammon that leads to destruction. I will keep my mouth and avoid destruction. I bind and rebuke the spirit of poverty that leads to destruction. I rebuke all destruction from the gates in the name of Jesus. I close up any breach in my life that would give Satan and demons access in the name of Jesus. I pray for every broken hedge in my life to be restored in the name of Jesus. I stand in the gap and make up the hedge. I repent and receive forgiveness for any sin that had opened the door for any spirit to enter and operate in my life. I am, am a rebuilder of the wall and a repairer of the breach. I renounce all crooked speech that would cause a breach in the name of Jesus. I bind up all my breaches, O Lord. Let every breach be stopped in the name of Jesus. Let my walls be salvation and my gates praise. I pray for a hedge of protection around my mind, my body, finances, possessions, and family in the name of Jesus. I rebuke and destroy every wicked cauldron in the name of Jesus. 
I rebuke and destroy every seeming pot or cauldron stirred up by the enemy against my life, city, or nation. Let every wicked cauldron in my city be broken in the name of Jesus. I break every witchcraft cauldron stirred up by witches and warlocks in the name of Jesus. Lord, visit every witch and warlock in my region and covet. Let them repent, turn to you, and be saved. I am delivered from the boiling pot in the name of Jesus. Lord, bring me out of the midst of every cauldron. The enemy will not eat my flesh, break my bones, and put me in his cauldron. Lord, deliver and protect me from every pot of evil in the name of Jesus. Lord, deliver me from the boiling pot of pride. I remove all false burdens placed on me by people, leaders, or churches in the name of Jesus. I remove all heavy burdens placed on my life by the enemy in the name of Jesus. Let your anointing break the enemy's burden from off my neck and let every yoke be destroyed. Remove my shoulder from every burden. I cast my cares upon the Lord. I cast my burdens upon the Lord and he sustains me. Lord, break the yoke of the enemy's burden and break the staff and the rod of the oppressor in the name of Midian. Let every yoke of poverty be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let every yoke of sickness be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let every yoke of bondage be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let every unequal yoke be broken in the name of Jesus. I destroy every yoke and burden of religion and legalism on my life by religious leaders in the name of Jesus. Let every burdensome stone be released from my life in the name of Jesus. I take upon my life the yoke and burden of Jesus. Jesus, you have cast out the prince of this world and defeated him. Jesus, you have spoiled principalities and made an open show of them. I bind the prince of the power of the air in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke Beelzebub, the prince of demons. I bind the principalities and powers in my region in the name of Jesus. I command the principalities to come down in the name of Jesus. Lord, release your warrior angels against the demonic princes. Smite the princes as the days of old. Bring the iniquity of every profane prince to an end and remove a diadem from his head. Lead the princes away spoiled and overthrow the mighty. Make the nobles like Oreb and like Zeb and all their princes like Zeba and Zalmunna. Pour contempt upon the demon princes. Cut off the spirits of princes. I rebuke and bind all princes that would speak against me. I rebuke and bind all princes that would persecute me. Bring the princes to nothing. Punish the princes with your power. O oh Lord, break the heads of the dragons in the waters. Cut off the, every head of every hydra in the name of Jesus. Break the heads of Leviathan in pieces. Punish Leviathan the piercing serpent, even Leviathan the crooked serpent with your sore, great and strong sword. Slay the dragon that is in the sea. I break all curses of pride and Leviathan from my life in the name of Jesus. Rip the scales of Leviathan. Break the strength of Leviathan's necks. Break the stony heart of Leviathan and crush it into pieces. Break the teeth of Leviathan and pluck the spoil out of his mouth. I put a hook in Leviathan's nose and cord around his tongue and I bore a thorn in his jaw. Lord, you rule the sea and waters by your strength. Do not let any evil water overflow my life. The channels of water are seen at your rebuke. Rebuke all proud and arrogant demons that are cursed. I bind every sea monster that would attack my life or region in the name of Jesus. Bring down the haughty demons by your power. Bring down the proud demons that have exalted themselves against your people. Scatter the proud in the imagination of their hearts. Lord, you resist the proud. Your power is against the high ones who have rebelled against you. Let not the foot of pride come against me. Break the crown of pride. Break Rahab in pieces as one that is slain. Scatter your enemies with your strong arm. Let not Leviathan oppress me. O Lord, render a reward to Leviathan. Raise up a watch over Leviathan. Let not the proud waters go over my soul. I rebuke and destroy every trap of the devil has set for me. Let the proud spirit stumble and fall. Break the pride of Leviathan's power. Awake, awake, put on strength, O arm of the Lord. I command the helpers of Rahab to bow before the Lord. 
Let not the foot of pride come against me. I strip the scales of Leviathan and take away his armor. Cast abroad the rage of thy wrath and abase Leviathan. Smite through Leviathan with your understanding. Look on Leviathan and bring him low. Tread him down into his place. Rebuke the bulls of Bashan. Let the mighty be spoiled. Let the oaks of Bashan howl. Bring your people from Bashan. Bring your people from the depths of the sea. Smite Bashan in the kingdom of Og. I bind and cast out all mind control spirits of the octopus and squid in the name of Jesus. Let the waters of the deep be dried up and destroy every spirit of Leviathan. In the name of Jesus, I dry up your rivers, your seas, and your springs. I call for a drought upon Leviathan's waters. I loose the hounds of heaven against Jezebel. I rebuke and bind the spirits of witchcraft, lust, seduction, intimidation, idolatry, and whoredom connected to Jezebel. I release the spirit of Jehu against Jezebel and her cohorts. I command Jezebel to be thrown down and eaten by the hounds of heaven. I rebuke all spirits of false teaching, false prophecy, idolatry, and perversion connected with Jezebel. I loose tribulations against the kingdoms of Jezebel. I cut off the assignment of Jezebel against the ministers of God. I cut off and break the powers of every word released by Jezebel against my life. I cut off Jezebel's table and reject all food from it. I cut off and loose myself from all curses of Jezebel and spirits of Jezebel operating in my bloodline. I cut off the assignment of Jezebel and her daughters to corrupt the church. I rebuke and cut off the spirit of Athiah that attempts to destroy the royal seed. I come against the spirit of Herodas and cut off the assignment to kill the prophets. I rebuke and cut off the spirit of whoredoms. I rebuke and cut off Jezebel in her witchcrafts in the name of Jesus. I rebuke and cut off the harlot and mistress of witchcrafts and break her power over my life and family. I cut off witchcrafts out of the hands. I overcome Jezebel and receive power over the nations. I speak to every desert in my life or ministry in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out every desert spirit sent against my life. I bind and cast out every spirit of the desert owl and the desert fox, the desert dragon, the desert hyena, and the desert vulture in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out every scorpion spirit of fear and torment in the name of Jesus. I rebind and rebuke the screech owl in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out every jackal in the name of Jesus. I will not dwell in the wilderness but in a fruitful land. My desert shall blossom as a rose and bring forth abundant fruit. Release water in my dry places and streams in the deserts. Let rivers flow into my desert places. I rebuke the beasts of the desert, every doleful creature, every satyr, every dragon from operating in my life. Let your voice shake every wilderness place in my life. Let fatness drop upon my wilderness places. Let the spirits of the wilderness bow and lick the dust. I rebuke every pelican and owl of the wilderness. Turn the wilderness into a pool of water and the dry ground into water springs. Open rivers in high places and fountains in the midst of valleys and make my wilderness places a pool of water and my dry places springs of water. Plant in my wilderness places the cedar, the shita tree, the myrtle tree, the oil tree, the fir tree, the pine tree, and the box tree together. I renounce all rebellion that would open my life to desert spirits. I break every curse of trusting in man that would open my life to desert spirits. I prophesy to every dry bone in my life and command it to live. My land shall not be termed desolate, but I am called Hezeba and my land Beulah. Make all my wilderness places like Eden and my desert places like the garden of the Lord. Let every desolation in my life or bloodline be raised up in the name of Jesus. Revive me and repair every desolation in my life. Let the horse and rider be thrown into the sea. Break in pieces the horse and his rider. Break in pieces the chariot and his rider. I release the sword of the Lord upon the horses and chariots. I cut off the horses and destroy the chariots in the name of Jesus. Overthrow the chariots and those that ride them. Bring down the horses and their riders. Confound the riders on horses. Let the horses' heels be bitten and let the riders fall backwards. 
let the chariot the horse the army and the power lie down together and not be able to rise let the chariot and the horse be cast into a deep sleep at your rebuke o lord make the horses afraid as grasshoppers let the chariots and horsemen be burned with your fire smite the horses with astonishment and the riders with madness and blindness o lord i bind and rebuke every black horse that would come against me in the name of jesus I bind and rebuke every red horse that would come against me in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke every pale horse that would come against me in the name of Jesus. Take away the strength of the demonic horsemen in the name of Jesus. Let the horses be cut by your power, O Lord. I am your godly horse in the day of battle. I bind and cast out all spirits that would attempt to keep me in a low place in the name of Jesus. I break the chariots of the enemies in the valley in the name of Jesus. I rebuke and cast out the ravens of the valley in the name of Jesus. Lord, you are the God of the valleys. Cast out every valley spirit in the name of Jesus. Let me be exalted by the spirits of the valley. Be smitten by your power. I bind and rebuke every Goliath that would challenge me in the valley. Let all the giants of the valley be destroyed. Fight against the spirits of the valley and let my enemies be avenged in the valley. Let every ache in my life be destroyed in the valley. I loose myself from every Delilah spirit operating in the valley. Let my, all my valley places be blessed in the name of Jesus. Open a door of hope in all my valleys. I destroy every Edomonic spirit in the valley in the name of Jesus. Let water flow into every valley place in my life. Let every valley place in my life be exalted. I smite Amalek and destroy him in the valley. I smite the Midnights in the valley. I bind and rebuke any unclean and hateful birds sent against my life by the enemy in the name of Jesus. I exercise my dominion over the unclean fowl of the air in the name of Jesus. Let every spirit bird sent against me be taken into the snare. I bind and rebuke every spiritual vulture in the name of Jesus. I bind the operation of the screech owl the night monster, from operating against me in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke the cormant, the vomiting pelican, from operating against my life in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke the bittern from operating against my life in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke any raven sent against my life in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke any demonic eagle and hawk sent against my life, and I command their nest to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I pray these unclean birds would be caged in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke any unclean bird that would attempt to nest in my life in the name of Jesus. Let every wandering bird be cast out of its nest in the name of Jesus. Let your presence drive every unclean bird away from my life. Let every fowl of heaven operating against my life be consumed in the name of Jesus. Let these birds flee and fly away at your rebuke. Let me walk in the path of wisdom that no fowl knows. I will not be afraid of the terror by night, and I rebuke every night bird that would attempt to visit me at night. I am not a companion to owls. I rebuke every lion that would stoop and crouch down to attack me in the name of Jesus. Through the strength of God, I break the jaws of the lion and pluck the spoil out of his mouth. Deliver me from the paw of the lion. I rebuke the fierce lion that would hunt me. Don't let the lion tear my soul. I rebuke and expose any lion that would wait secretly to catch me. I rebuke any lurking lions in the name of Jesus. I tread upon the lion in the name of Jesus. I walk in holiness and no lion can dwell in my life. Deliver me from men who are like the lions. Let the lion's whelps be scattered. Save me from the lion's mouth. Break the teeth of the lions. Deliver my soul from lions. Deliver me from the power of lions. Deliver me out of the mouth of the lion. Let the lion of the tribe of Judah roar through me against my enemies. Deliver me from the power of the lion. Lord, bruise the head of every serpent that would attack my life in the name of Jesus. Punish the piercing serpent in the name of Jesus. I rebind and rebuke any spirit that would try to deceive me. I release the rod of God to swallow up every serpent that would come against me in the name of Jesus. Protect me from fiery serpents. I bind and rebuke every serpent that would try to twist or coil around my life in the name of Jesus. 
I bind and rebuke every python that would try to squeeze out my prayer life in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke every cobra that would come against me in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke every cockatrice that would come against me in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke every flying serpent that would attack my life in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke every sea serpent that would attack my life in the name of Jesus. I have authority to tread upon the serpents. I am a believer and I pick up serpents. Let the fire of God drive out every serpent from my life. I cast out every viper that would operate in my life in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke Beelzebub, the Lord of the flies, in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out all flies that would attempt to that would attempt to affect my anointing in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke any swarm of flies that would come against me in the name of Jesus. No flies can live in my life in the name of Jesus. I renounce and loose myself from any spiritual garbage that would attract flies in the name of Jesus. I renounce and loose myself from any spiritual garbage that would attract flies in the name of Jesus. I rebuke every fly and every bee that would come upon my land in the name of Jesus. I am delivered from the wild beasts of the desert. I rebuke the jackals that would attack my life, city, or nation in the name of Jesus. I rebuke the night wolves that would attack my life, city, or nation in the name of Jesus. I rebuke every goat spirit of Pan, Fawn, and Saturn in the name of Jesus. I rebuke the wildcats, the leopards, the lions, the jaguars, which represent higher occult powers that would attack my life, my city, or nation in the name of Jesus. I rebuke the hyenas that would attack my life, city, or nation in the name of Jesus. I rebuke and bind every wild dog representing false religion, witchcraft, and perversion that would hound my life in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke the bulls, representing strong rebellion in the name of Jesus. I command all foxes that would destroy my fruits to leave my life in the name of Jesus. I break all generational curses of pride, rebellion, lust, poverty, witchcraft, idolatry, death, destruction, failure, sickness, infirmity, fear, schizophrenia, and rejection in the name of Jesus. I command all generational and hereditary spirits operating in my life through curses to be bound and cast out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits of lust, perversion, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, and immorality to come out of my sexual character in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits of hurt, rejection, fear, anger, wrath, sadness, depression, discouragement, grief, bitterness, and unforgiveness to come out of my emotions in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits of confusion, forgetfulness, mind control, mental illness, double-mindedness, fantasy, pain, pride, and memory recall to come out of my mind in the name of Jesus. I break all curses of schizophrenia and command all spirits of double-mindedness, rejection, rebellion, and roots of bitterness to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits of guilt, shame and condemnation to come out of my conscience in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits of pride, stubbornness, disobedience, rebellion, self-will, selfishness, and arrogance to come out of my will in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits of addiction to come out of my appetite in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits of addiction to come out of my appetite in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits of witchcraft, sorcery, divination, and occult to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits operating in my head, eyes, mouth, tongue, and throat to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits operating in my chest and lungs to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits operating in my back and spine to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits operating in my stomach, navel, and abdomen to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits operating in my heart, spleen, kidneys, liver, and pancreas to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits operating in my sexual organs to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits operating in my hands, arms, legs, and feet to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all demons operating in my skeletal system, including my bones, my joints, my knees, and my elbows to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits operating in my glands and endocrine system to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits operating in my blood and circulatory systems to come out in the name of Jesus. 
I command all spirits operating in my muscles and muscular system to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all, all religious spirits of doubt, unbelief, error, heresy, and tradition that came through religion to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits from my past that are hindering my present and future to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all ancestral spirits that entered through my ancestors to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all hidden spirits hiding in any part of my life to come out in the name of Jesus. I break all assignments of the enemy against my finances in the name of Jesus. I break all curses of poverty, lack, debt, and failure in the name of Jesus. I seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all are added unto me. I rebuke and cast out all spirits of the canker worm, palmer worm, caterpillar, and locust that would eat up my blessing in the name of Jesus. Lord, teach me to profit and lead me in the way I should go. You are Jehovah Jireh, my provider. You are El Shaddai, the God of more than enough. Wealth and riches are in my house because I fear you and delight greatly in your commandments. The blessings of the Lord upon my life make me rich. I am blessed coming in and blessed going out. I am God's servant, and he takes pleasure in my prosperity. Jesus, you became poor, that through your poverty I might become rich. I meditate on the word day and night, in whatsoever I do prosper. Let peace be within my walls and prosperity within my palace. I will prosper through the prophets and prophetic ministry. I believe the prophets and I prosper. I am your servant, Lord. Prosper me. The Lord of heaven will prosper me. I live in the prosperity of the King. Through your favor, I will be a prosperous person. Lord, you have called me, and you will make my way prosperous. I pray in secret, and you will reward me openly. I fast in secret, and you will reward me openly. You reward me because I diligently seek you. Lord, release the wealth of the wicked into my hands. Lord, bring me into a wealthy place. I give, and it is given to me. Good measure pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Open the floodgates of heaven over my life, and I receive more than I have enough room to receive. Let every hole in my bag be closed in the name of Jesus. Rebuke the devourer for my sake. All nations will call me blessed, and I will be a delightful land. My gates are open continually, that the forces of wealth and the nations can come into my life. I am in league with the stones of the field. Let your showers of blessings come upon my life. Let my vats overflow. Let my barns be filled with plenty and my presses burst with new wine. Command your blessings upon my storehouse. Let my barns be full and overflowing. Let my sheep bring forth thousands and ten thousands. Let my oxen be strong to labor. The plowman overtakes the reaper in my life and the treader of grapes the sower of the seed and I live in continual harvest. Let my floor be full of wheat and my vats overflow with wine and oil. Deal wondrously with me, and let me eat and be satisfied. Make peace within my border, and fill me with the finest of wheat. Let me be filled with honey and the finest of wheat. Lead me into the land flowing with milk and honey. Bring me into a good land without scarceness or lack. Make all grace abound towards me, that I will have sufficiency in all things, and abound to every good work. Anoint my head with oil, and let my cup runneth over. Let me have riches and honor in abundance. Let the rock pour me out rivers of oil. Let me deep my, dip my feet in oil. Let me see your heaps of my life. I love wisdom, I inherit substance, and my treasures are filled. I receive riches and honor, durable riches and righteousness. Bring honey out of the rock for me. Let me eat the finest of wheat. Let my teeth be white with milk. Wash my steps with butter. Let me lay up gold as dust. Let me have plenty of silver. Let your river lead me to gold. Let me inherit the land. I refuse to allow the angel of blessing to depart without blessing me. I am healed by the stripes of Jesus. Jesus carried my sickness and infirmities. I cast out all spirits of infirmity that would attack my body in the name of Jesus. I break, rebuke, and cast out any spirit of cancer that would attempt to establish itself in my lungs, my bones, my breast, my throat, my back, my spine, my liver, my kidneys, my pancreas, my skin, or stomach, in the name of Jesus. I rebuke and cast out all spirits causing diabetes, high blood pressure, low blood pressure, heart attack, stroke, kidney failure, leukemia, blood disease, breathing problems, arthritis, 
lupus, Alzheimer's, or insomnia in the name of Jesus. I speak healing and strength into my bones, muscles, and joints, organs, head, eyes, throat, glands, blood, marrow, lungs, kidney, liver, spleen, spine, pancreas, eyes, bladder, ears, nose, sinuses, mouth, tongue, and feet in the name of Jesus. I loose myself from all heart attacks rooted in fear, and I command all spirits of fear to leave in Jesus' name. I loose myself from all diabetes rooted in rejection, self-hatred, inheritance, and guilt, and I command these spirits to come out in the name of Jesus. I loose myself from all cancer rooted in bitterness, unforgiveness, resentment, and slander of the tongue, and I command these spirits to come out in the name of Jesus. I loose myself from lupus rooted in self-rejection, self-hatred, and guilt, and I cast these spirits out in the name of Jesus. I loose myself from all multiple sclerosis rooted in self-hatred, guilt, and rejection from the Father, and I cast these spirits out in the name of Jesus. I loose myself from rheumatoid arthritis that is rooted in self-hatred and low self-esteem, and I command these spirits to come out in the name of Jesus. I loose myself from high cholesterol that is rooted in anger and hostility, and command these spirits to come out in the name of Jesus. I loose myself from all sinus problems rooted in fear and anxiety, and I command these spirits to come out in the name of Jesus. I loose myself from all high blood pressure rooted in fear and anxiety, and I command these spirits to come out in the name of Jesus. I loose myself from asthma rooted in fear concerning relationships in the name of Jesus. I loose myself from a weakened immune system that is rooted in a broken spirit or broken heart, and I command these spirits to come out in the name of Jesus. I loose myself from all strokes rooted in self-rejection, self-bitterness, and self-hatred, and I command these spirits to come out in the name of Jesus. I loose myself from all bone disease rooted in envy and jealousy, and I command these spirits to come out in the name of Jesus. Forgive me, Lord, for allowing any fear, guilt, self-rejection, self-hatred, unforgiveness, bitterness, sin, pride, or rebellion to open the door to any sickness or infirmity. I renounce these things in the name of Jesus. I cast out any spirit of infirmity that came into my life through pride in the name of Jesus. I cast out any spirit of infirmity that came into my life through trauma or accidents in the name of Jesus. I cast out any spirit of infirmity that came into my life through rejection in the name of Jesus. I cast out any spirit of infirmity that came into my life through witchcraft in the name of Jesus. Give me a sound heart, which is the life of my flesh. Remove from my heart any evil or sinful attitude. Lord, remove any darts from my liver. Heal and deliver me from all my pains in the name of Jesus. I rebuke any sickness that would come and eat up my flesh, including cancer, in the name of Jesus. Let no evil diseases, things of Belial, cleave to my body. I break all curses of sickness and disease, and I command all hereditary spirits of sickness to come out. I break all curses of premature death and destruction in the name of Jesus. I prosper and walk in health, even as my soul prospers. I receive the word of God, which is health to my flesh. Lord, bless my bread and water and take sickness away from me. I command every organ in my body to function the way God intended. My bones are fat because I receive good report of the gospel. Lord, keep all my bones. Let every tumor of or evil growth melt at the presence of God. Let any infection in my body be burned by the fire of God. I release myself to all allergies and all sinus problems in the name of Jesus. I pray for my arteries and blood vessels to be open and my circulatory system to function properly in the name of Jesus. I rebuke all fevers in the name of Jesus. My flesh shall be fresher than a child's and I will return to the days of my youth. I pray for my immune system to be strengthened in the name of Jesus. Lord, renew my youth like the eagles. I will live and not die and I will proclaim the name of the Lord. My beauty shall be as the olive tree. Lord, you heal all of my diseases. Lord, you are the health of my countenance. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Let your virtue touch my life and heal me. I release the fire of God to burn any sickness or disease that would operate in my body in the name of Jesus. No sickness or plague will ever come near me or my dwelling. Jesus, arise over my life with healing in your wings. The Lord is the strength of my life. I command every germ or sickness that touches my body to die in the name of Jesus. I take the shield of faith and quench every fiery dart of the enemy. 
I am redeemed from sickness and disease. Every plague is stopped when it comes near me through the atonement of Jesus Christ. I loose myself from every infirmity. Jesus Christ makes me whole. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Let my body function in the wonderful way you designed it to function. Keep my soul and deliver me. Be pleased, O Lord, and deliver me. Make haste, O Lord, and deliver me. Deliver me in your righteousness. Deliver me, O God, out of the hand of the enemy. Deliver me from my persecutors. Deliver me out of the great waters. Deliver me from the oppression of man. Deliver me according to your word. Deliver my soul from lying lips and a deceitful tongue. Deliver me from my enemies and hide me. Surround me with songs of deliverance. Command deliverances for my life. Deliver me from all my fears. Deliver me from out of all my trouble. Deliver me from them who hate me. Deliver me out of my distresses. Send your word and deliver me out of destruction. Deliver my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. I call upon the name of Jesus and I'm delivered. Deliver me from the power of the lion. Through your knowledge I am delivered. Through your wisdom I am delivered. I receive miracles of deliverance in my life. Deliver me from evil. I pray that you would keep me from evil. No evil will touch me. Put to shame those who wish me evil. Let no evil disease cleave to my body. I will not be afraid of evil tidings. I will not be visited with evil. I refrain my feet from every evil way so that I might keep your word. Preserve me from all evil. Deliver me from the evil man. Let people be healed of plagues and evil spirits. I pray that you would keep me from the evil. Let evil spirits be cast out. I will not be overcome with evil, but I will overcome evil with good. I will put on the whole armor of God that I might stand in the evil day. I cancel all the plans and forces of evil set against my life. Let the works of evil be burned by your holy fire. Let men repent of evil and turn to righteousness. Let no evil be established in my life, but let your righteousness be established. I loose myself from all evil doers and evil soul ties. I renounce all sexual sin that I have been involved with in the past, including fornication, masturbation, pornography, perversion, fantasy, and adultery in the name of Jesus. I break all curses of adultery, perversion, fornication, lust, incest, rape, molestation, illegitimacy, harlotry, and polygamy in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits of lust and perversion to come out of my stomach, genitals, eyes, mind, mouth, hands, and blood in the name of Jesus. I present my body to the Lord as a living sacrifice. My members are the members of Christ. I will not let them be members of a harlot. I release the fire of God to burn out all unclean lusts from my life in the name of Jesus. I break all ungodly soul ties with former lovers and sexual partners in the name of Jesus. I cast out all spirits of loneliness that would drive me to ungodly sexual relationships in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits of hereditary lust come from my ancestors to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits of witchcraft that work with lust to leave in the name of Jesus. I take authority over my thoughts and bind all spirits of fantasy and lustful thinking in the name of Jesus. I cast out all marriage breaking spirits of lust that would break covenants in the name of Jesus. I cast out and loose myself from any spirit spouses and spirits of incubus and succubus in the name of Jesus. I cast out all spirits of perversion, including Moabite and Ammonite spirits of lust in the name of Jesus. I receive the spirit of holiness in my life to walk in sexual purity in the name of Jesus. I loose myself from the spirit of the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. I overcome the world through the power of the Holy Spirit. I am crucified with Christ. I mortify my members. I do not let sin reign in my body, and I will not obey its lusts. Let your angels ascend and descend upon my life. Give your angels charge over me and deliver me. Let the angel of the Lord chase the enemy. Let the angel of the Lord persecute the enemy. Let your angels fight for me in the heavens against principalities. Let the angels of your presence save me. Let your angels go before me and make the crooked places straight. Send your angels before me to prosper my way. Lord, hear my voice and send your angels to deliver me. Send your angels to minister unto me. I have come to Zion, to an innumerable company of angels. I am an heir of salvation. Send your angels to minister to me. Send your angels to deliver me from the hand of the enemy. 
Lord, confess me before your holy angels. Send your angels in the night to minister to me. Let your angels meet me as I walk in my destiny. Send your angels to be involved in reaching the lost. Release your angelic army to fight for me and defend your church. Send your angels to smite the demons that come to destroy me. I bind and rebuke every red eagle of terror that would come against my nation in the name of Jesus. I will not be afraid of the terror by night. I bind and rebuke all terrorists that would plot against my nation in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke all spirits of hatred and murder that would manifest through the terrorism in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke all religious terrorists in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke all the demons of jihad in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke all spirits of the Antichrist and hatred of Christianity in the name of Jesus. I bind all spirits of hatred in America in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke the terrors of death in the name of Jesus. I bind all fear and panic that would come through terrorism in the name of Jesus. Deliver me from violence and a bloodthirsty men. I cut the acts of violence out of the hands of the wicked. Let the assemblies of the violent men be exposed and cut off. Let violence be no more in my borders. Father, keep me from all evil. Sanctify me through your word of truth. Let me be one with my brothers and sisters that the world might believe I have been sent. My heart's desire and prayer for Israel is that they might be saved. Let me be counted worthy of my calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of your goodness and the work of faith with power. Let your word have free course in my life. Give me the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Jesus. Let the eyes of my understanding be enlightened that I might know what is the hope of my calling and what are the riches of glory of your inheritance in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of your power towards me who believes. Strengthen me with the might of your spirit in the inner man. Let Christ dwell in my heart by faith and let me be rooted and grounded in love and let me comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height of your love. Let me know the love of Christ, which passes all understanding, that I might be filled with all the fullness of God. Lord, do exceedingly abundantly above all I can ask or think, according to the power that works in me. Let utterances be given to me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Let my love abound more and more in knowledge and all in judgment. Let me approve things that are excellent, that I might be sincere and without offense until the day of Christ. Let me know Jesus in the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings, being made comfortable unto his death. Let me be filled with the knowledge of your will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding that I might walk worthy of you in all pleasing, be fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. Let me be strengthened with all might according to your glorious power and to all patience and long suffering with joyfulness. Let me stand perfect and complete in all the will of God. Let my whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless into the coming of my Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, give me peace. Always, by all means, be with me. I make supplications, intercessions, and give thanks for all men and leaders in my nation and in the church that I might lead a quiet and peaceable life in godliness and honesty. I receive multiplied grace and peace through the apostolic anointing. I have the keys of heaven I have the keys of the kingdom, and whatever I bind on earth is bound in heaven, and whatever I loose on earth is loosed in heaven. I bind the kings in chains and the nobles with fetters of irons. I bind the strong man and spoil his goods. I bind Leviathan and all proud spirits arrayed against my life. I bind the principalities, powers, rulers of darkness of this world, and spiritual wickedness in high places. I bind all sickness and disease released against my mind or body. Let the exiles be loosened. Let the prisoners be loosed. Loose the appointed to death. I loose my neck from all bands. I loose myself from the bands of wickedness. I loose myself from the bands of Orion. I loose myself from all bonds. I loose my mind, will, and emotions from every assignment and spirit of darkness in the name of Jesus. I loose my city and region from every assignment of hell. I loose my finances from every spirit of poverty, debt, and lack. I loose myself from all generational curses and hereditary spirits. I loose myself from every assignment of witchcraft, sorcery, and divination. I loose myself from every spoken curse and negative word spoken against my life. Let the enemy be ashamed and sore vexed. Let them return and be ashamed suddenly. 
Show me a token for good that they which hate me may see and be ashamed. Put to shame those who seek after my soul. Let those who seek to hurt me be clothed with shame. Scatter their bones and put them to shame. Let those who seek after my soul be ashamed and confounded. Let those who desire my hurt be turned backwards and put to confusion. Fill their faces with shame. Let all those incensed against you be ashamed. Let those who arise against me be ashamed. Let the proud spirits be ashamed. All souls belong to you, O Lord. Lord, you are the shepherd and bishop of my soul. Watch over my soul and keep it. I receive with meekness the engrafted word that is able to save my soul. I bind the hunter of souls. In patience I possess my soul. I bind and tear off every veil used to hunt souls to make them fly. I command the souls that are hunted by the enemy to be let go. I release the souls from divination and witchcraft. Return, O Lord, and deliver my soul. Let not the enemy persecute my soul. Lord, restore my soul. Keep my soul and deliver me. Put to shame those who seek after my soul. Rescue my soul from destruction. Let those who seek after my soul be ashamed and confounded. Deliver me from all oppressors who seek after my soul. Lord, you have delivered my soul from death and my feet from falling. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. Rejoice my soul, for I lift up my soul unto you. Lord, your comforts delight my soul. I break the power of all negative words spoken against my soul. Return unto your rest, O my soul. My soul shall live and praise the Lord. My soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowler. Strengthen me with strength in my soul. Destroy all who afflict my soul. Let your fear come upon every soul in my city. I will prosper and be in health even as my soul prospers. I pray my soul will be preserved blameless unto the coming of the Lord. Satiate my soul with fatness. My soul will be joyful in the Lord. You have covered me with the garments of salvation and the robe of righteousness. I break all ungodly soul ties and pray for godly soul ties that will bring blessings into my life. I loose my soul from any oaths, inner vows, and curses that would bind it in the name of Jesus. I pray for the leaders of my nation to come to the light. I make supplication, prayer, intercession, and give thanks for all the people of my nation, for the leaders of my nation, that I might live in peaceable life and in all godliness and honesty. Let our leaders be just and let them rule by the fear of the Lord. Let our leaders fall down before the Lord and let my nation serve him. Let the poor and needy people of my nation be delivered. Let the Lord's dominion be established in my nation and let his enemies lick the dust. Turn our leaders' hearts to fear you, O Lord. Let the Lord rule over my nation, and let my nations be glad and rejoice. Let my nation sing a new song, bless his name, and show forth his salvation from day to day. Let the people of my nation tremble at the presence of the Lord. Let my nation make a joyful noise unto the Lord, and let the people serve him with gladness. Let our leaders praise you, and let them hear your words of your mouth. Let the wicked be rooted out of our land. Let the wicked be cut down and wither as the green herb. Let all the people of my nation turn to the Lord and worship him. My nation is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, and all they that dwell therein. Let all the idolaters of my nation be confounded, and let all gods worship the Lord. Let my nation praise the Lord for his merciful kindness and truth. Save my nation, O Lord, and send prosperity. I pray that my nation will submit to the rule and reign of Christ. I pray my nation will reveal its wealth into the kingdom. I pray my nation will be converted and bring its wealth to the king. I pray my nation will be healed by the leaves from the leaves of life, from the tree of life. I pray my nation will show forth the praises of God. I pray my nation will see the glory of God. Let those who are deaf hear the words of the book and let the blind see out of the obscurity. I pray that Jesus will rule over my nation in righteousness and judgment. I pray my nation will come to Zion to be taught and learn war no more. I pray that my nation will seek the Lord and enter into his rest. I pray that the parched places in my nation will become a pool and every thirsty part springs of water. I pray that the glory of the Lord be revealed in my nation and that all the inhabitants will see it. Let the Lord bring righteousness and judgment to my nation. I ask the Lord to do a new thing in my nation by giving waters in the wilderness and streams in the desert. Let peace, shalom, come into my nation like a river. Let my nation be sprinkled by the blood of Jesus. Let the children of my nation be taught of the Lord. I pray that my nation will seek and find the Lord. 
Let my nation be filled with priests and Levites that worship the Lord. Let the people of my nation come and worship the Lord. Let my people build houses and inhabit them. Let my people plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. Let my people long enjoy the work of their hands. Let the enemies in my land be reconciled. Let my nation be filled with the knowledge of the glory of God. Let my nation be saved and walk in the light of Zion. Let God be merciful unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us. Let his way be known to us and his saving health in our nation. Let every covenant with death and hell be broken in our nation. Let my nation look to the Lord and be saved. Let the Lord make bare his holy arm and let my nation see the salvation of the Lord. Let every veil spread over my nation be destroyed. My nation is the inheritance of the Lord. Let him possess it. The kingdom is the Lord's and he is the governor of my nation. Let the people who walk in darkness in my nation see the light and let your light shine upon those in the shadow of darkness. Let his government and peace, shalom, continually increase in my nation. Let his justice and judgment increase in my nation. Let those in my nation who are not your people be called the children of the living God. Let righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost increase in my nation. I pray for righteousness to come to my nation and that my nation would be exalted. Let his spirit be poured out through my nation and let our sons and daughters prophesy. I will confess you, Lord, among my people and sing unto your name. Let your glory be declared among my people and your wonders in my nation. Open a door of utterance in my nation that my people might hear your word. I pray that the families of my people be blessed through Christ Jesus. I pray for the healing waters to flow into my nation. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.